Hello there and welcome back to my videos. In this video we're going to speak about the Atune software and how you can automatically deploy uh, software to your servers. If you have one server, if you have 100 servers, it depends uh, just on your license for the Atunes. And uh, it's, very, it's very useful and I think it's a great way to, to know about how the dynamic files is working in, in uh, Atune software because um, if you know how the Atune software working by the dynamic files then you can pre-setting the, the settings files and then you can just by using the, the variables inside the, the Atunes then you can just many minutes how the stuff's working it's uh, pretty nice if you let's say you want to deploy a, a proxy for, with nginx then you want to deploy um, a site uh, a new v, v host files and you need to do something from your side to deploy it uh, and, and yeah, that, that's a very useful way to, to do this. And uh, that's, that's what I want to show you in, in this video and how you can work with the dynamic files in Atrium. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and before you continue, please make the subscribe button in the right corner, press on the thing, and then we continue. So the first we're gonna do, it's going for the files area. And if you know from the previous video, we, we already have the two files here where the first one is the uploaded zip file and the second one is one we have created as ourselves. and uh, now we want to create one new one we can call it the dynamic dynamic files and um, then I will just switch between the, the files and the dynamic files I will just uh, switch to dynamic And um, we still use the zip, and here we just say custom dynamic files created for test. And then I will create it. And we, we have the dynamic files here, and we need to unlock it before we continue. If we not unlock it, we can't create a file as we want. So what we're gonna do, so let's just call it the test jaml file. And uh, the syntax should be jaml, so I'll just say, uh, my test and then we're going to say test uh, we will want the name and then we need the macro parameter so I just say name here and then we say H and in this case whoops and we have the H here so that's the the test for the jaml file so we just need to create it be sure you have the Unix Linux here and not Windows because we are trying for that to a Linux server. So just click create and uh, then we just click save uh, here on the succeeds. Then we have the file and uh, then we just going for the blueprint. In the blueprint we select the my first uh, blueprint test task and click up here on the blueprint and click add. We want to push the dynamic files and uh, here we want to say dynamic dynamic files jaml and we're taking the target node here and uh, then we want to send the dynamic files and again i need to send it into my home folder and uh, then we just click create and we want to select up this is the the file we want we can open it up and see how it's basically working and then i can just test it about we we are having the the file is it's completed correct and this string it's a it's a bug right now but i think they are working uh, on the bug but uh, i can just say name and uh, i can just say age and that's it i need to go going this way else it, it won't work and then i can just press save and then you need to go in for the jobs because now we need to change the, the variables uh, a little bit more so i need to go in for my test job and going for the inputs and here you can see we have the free free text to type whatever we want and the uh, age is 35 and here is a name is Paris, that's my name, and I can just save it. And then we can go in for the uh, the run, but we need to 
put the stuff inside here. And we still have the vials inside here. And let's run this one. But first we need to, to connect. So let's connect to the, to the test server. And see what's happening here. You can see custom files types. So I just need to clean up here and see what's happening. That's fine. And uh, then we just run this one. And then it should be here in, in the just in seconds. You can see all the, the stuff is doing here. And then we have the test cat test YAML file. And now you have the pre configured with the Paris and 35. And uh, that's how it's uh, going on. So that's how you can work with the dynamic files in Atune. And I really hope you enjoy this video and uh, you want to try, uh, to try about uh, how it's working. And don't forget to join the, the Discord channel for the community. And uh, the download link will be down in the description. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get more videos from me. And thank you so much to, to have you here today. And hope to see you next time. Bye.